Hello, everybody, and welcome to Guided Notes number 10 for this set of notes on the Piedmont region of the great state of North Carolina. So let's get right to it. The Piedmont region is an area known for its red clay and hilly locations located at, its, at the center of the state. And when you look at this map, on the red here is the Piedmont region, which just sits right there, basically in the heart of the state, in between the intercoastal plain and the mountains region. Now, one of the most important things that you need to be aware of about this region is the Piedmont is the most populated region in North Carolina. It is home to many of the major cities of the state, including cities like Winston-Salem, Raleigh, and Durham. The Piedmont's red clay um, erodes so easily because the region is so hilly. As you move from east to west across this state, your elevation starts to experience some changes and it starts to go up. And to control the erosion of red clay, state officials planted millions of this kind of plants in the 1930s, hoping the fast-growing vine would stay in the soil. But this plan would actually backfire. And now this plant is the well-known weed in North Carolina. They have planted this to try to control that erosion, but in the end, that plan did not work. One very important geographical feature that you also need to be aware of is something called the fall line. This line divides the Piedmont from the intercoastal plain. It's where the rivers flowing out of the Piedmont, like the Tar and Noose rivers, go down their last hill. Now, it's an imaginary line. It doesn't actually exist, but, it's so, it, but it gives you an idea of where the coastal plain transitions to the Piedmont. Now, this fall line extends from north near Roanoke Rapids, southwest past Raleigh and Fayetteville as you can see there on that map. Historians have generally used the fall line to divide North Carolina into east and west sections, as you can see here. The two main rivers of the Piedmont are the Yatkin Pedy River and the Catawba River. These rivers parallel one another into South Carolina, where they flow into the Atlantic Ocean north of Charleston, which would be in South Carolina. And one of the main reasons sectionalism developed in North Carolina was the lack of connection between the rivers of the Piedmont and the intercoastal plain. Sectionalism is a very important concept. It is excessive concern for local interest and customs. So for example, there's a great divide in the state of North Carolina about different types of sauce that's used for barbecue. In the eastern North Carolina, it's very much a vinegar based, whereas in western North Carolina, it is tomato based. Now, except for certain areas with unusually rich brown soils, farming has always been a challenge here in the Piedmont. There is occasional crop farming, but more so there is more livestock and dairy farms. There's some crop farming, but more livestock. And in the 20th century, one could expect to see a factory in every town in the Piedmont, and people made a living processing and manufacturing raw materials, such as furniture. Also, tobacco manufacturing, which took place in Durham, and textiles in Winston-Salem, and furniture making in High Point grew rapidly in the 1800s. And many of the workers in these factories lived on the edges of town in clusters of housing called mill villages, so that way they would be close to work. This was predominant in the 1800s. Now, the company owned the houses themselves and provided stores and schools it generally influenced the lives of workers both inside and outside of the factory. So for these workers, their lives revolved heavily around the factories they were working at. In recent years, though, the Piedmont region has lost some of those factories in manufacturing, and what they've had to do in turn is find other ways to make the economy go. And this region has recovered with various industries such as banking, uh, motorsports, and medicine. And in Winston-Salem and the Durham community, leaders have attempted to turn around the decline in, of industrial jobs with the growth of medical services, which brings in the Research Triangle Park. Wake Forest University, Winston-Salem, and Duke University in Durham both have world-class medical schools that staff regional hospitals. 
and the Raleigh, Durham, Chapel Hill area has continued to develop ways to use their resident universities, forming a partnership that is known as the Research Triangle Park, or RTP for short. It has become a major leader in technology innovation, particularly in pharmaceuticals and computers. Now, one of the major landmarks of uh, landforms or landmarks in this region is what they call the Moonindocks. It's a point of land that stands out because all the land around it has eroded. It's a very distinctive looking landmark that you can see in these pictures. And the most famous Moonindock is Pilot Mountain. Pilot Mountain has a distinctive cap of granite that makes it recognizable from as far as 40 miles away. And the Yearly Mountains are located south of Greensboro and east of Salisbury. So they may not as tall as the regular Appalachian Mountains, but they are definitely starting to head that way the further and further you move west. Well, that concludes this video on the Piedmont region of North Carolina. Thank you for watching.